The Commission has successfully advocated for countries to establish a national broadband plan. Over 148 economies have one in place and another seven are introducing one shortly. But do these plans really make any difference? Do they work? Short answer is uh, some do. Uh, the report presents the latest analysis and research into what a good plan looks like and what it should cover in terms of monitoring and follow-up and assigning responsibilities. And we're seeing some pretty good examples uh, in countries such as Brazil and Qatar and the Philippines that have proven effective in increasing both access to ICTs and broadband and usage. So the good news is we have a much uh, better idea of what a good plan looks like. But of course, it's important to remember that a plan is only one part of the answer to what is a very tough challenge. And the operators and government and regulators really do have to engage in a national dialogue and work together to help roll out broadband. Uh, that's a pretty tough <laughs> um, order by anyone's uh, standards. So operators need the support and understanding of regulators in that rather than punishment and confrontation. Um, the other issue, of course, is the funding. Um, and also, uh, we're, we're seeing that a lot of these plans are by now quite old. Um, the Commission's research in 2013 found that the average lifetime was seven years, which is really uh, rather too long in such a vast moving industry. So it's very important to keep revisiting and updating the National Broadband Plan.